that according to TCA 844 yes Judge Kraft let me call roll just real quick All first right. I'm sorry Chris Kraft present Klein Lauterbach absent Judge H Judge Hudson present Judge Harvey present Dina McCullough is absent Stancil Ford present Veronica Thornton is absent you have a qu quorum chairman thank you and I'm sorry I called a quorum beforehand, but I, I recognized everyone's voice. According to TCA 844-108-B2, if a physical quorum is not present at the location of the meeting of a governing body, then in order for a quorum of members to participate by electronic or other means of communication, the governing body must make a determination that an necessity exists. Such determination and a recitation of the facts and circumstances on which it was based must be included in the minutes of the meeting. That's what the statute says. Furthermore, TCA 844-108-A3 defines a necessity as, quote, matters to be considered by the governing body at the meeting require timely action by the body, that physical presence by a quorum of the members is not practical within the period of time requiring action, and that participation by a quorum of the members by electronic or other means of communication is, is necessary, unquote. This is the regularly scheduled meeting for the Private Probation Services Council. The purpose of today's meeting by teleconference is to discuss the legal report and other normal business. There are a few complaints that will require the council's action before the next council meeting in December. It's in the best interest of the council and all the parties to have complaints resolved quickly. Waiting until the December meeting is unnecessary and puts parties at a disadvantage by waiting three more months to have a proposed resolution to the complaint. While the council needs to address these issues, the physical presence of a quorum of the members is not possible at this time due to member schedules and the expense of traveling. Therefore, the council has determined that it's necessary to allow participation by teleconference. So I'm going to make this statement of necessity. Due to the impossibility of having a quorum of members physically present and the need to address the legal report and other regular business in a timely manner, the council believes a necessity exists that requires this meeting to be held by teleconference. So that's why we're meeting by phone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Judge Kraft. Um, we do need to adopt this statement. All right. Do I hear a motion to adopt? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Is, that's by uh, Member Ford. Any second? Second, the Judge Hudson. All in favor say aye. Oh, wait, uh, uh, yes. I'm, I'm sorry. Due to the teleconference, all votes must be by roll call. That's fine. Uh, so uh, all in favor, call roll. Judge Kraft? Aye. Uh, Judge Hudson? Aye. Judge Harvey? Aye. Stancil Ford? Aye. Motion passes. All right. Next, uh, we look at the minutes. Uh, actually, I have the uh, statement regarding the posting. Oh, yes, the meeting posting. Go yes. right ahead. This meeting's date, time, and location have been posted on the Tennessee Private Probation Service Council's website. The agenda for this month's meeting has been posted on the Council's website since August 29, 2014, and this meeting has also been noticed on TN.gov's public meeting calendar. Thank you. Now, I got ahead of myself. Uh, everyone was sent a copy of the agenda. Uh, anyone have any objection, or do I hear a motion to adopt the agenda as sent? I move we adopt the agenda as sent. Is there a second? I'm sorry, who made the motion? Hudson. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Bye. Mr. Ford? Yes. Okay. All right, call the roll on the vote. Is there any other discussion? Call the roll on the vote. Judge Kraft? Aye. Judge Hudson? Aye. Judge Harvey? Aye. Mr. Ford? Aye. Motion carries. Um, looking at the reviewing and adopting the minutes, I'm going to point one thing out on the minutes okay. that we were sent on the first page. It has me as both being present and absent. Oh, I will so, make that correction. So if you will look where it says present, it says that I was present and then absent. I was the only member absent. So if we could take my name off the present and then uh, I, on, I wasn't there, but I know I wasn't there because I was somewhere else. <laughs> There's also an error on page five. It's typographical error, second paragraph. Okay. And let me see what that would be. Whether new, all new. I think there's an extra new in there. Okay. We're, yeah, the whether new, all new agency applicants. So, uh, so let's take out, if it's all right with y'all, let's take out uh, the first new and leave the second new. I'll do. 
Um, Are I'll there per- any other corrections suggested before we entertain a motion? All right, uh, the chair will entertain a motion that we adopt the minutes as corrected. Mr. Judge Hudson, I move that we adopt the minutes as corrected. Is there a second? Why didn't they have blue flag in that thing? Do, do we have a second? Yes, you have a second. All right, Mr. Ford? And that is from Mr. Ford. Yes. Okay. Any discussion? Uh, call the roll. Judge Kraft? Aye. Judge Hudson? Aye. Judge Harvey? Aye. Uh, Mr. Ford. Yeah. Ah. Thank you. All right. Uh, legal report. All right. We have three cases on the legal report today. The first case is case number 20140145611. Complaint alleges that respondent is conducting unlicensed activity. Complaint states that respondent has a court liaison signing clients clients up for counseling and probation. Respondent states that they do not supervise probationers and does not contract with any court. Respondent provides counseling services for individuals that are on supervised probation with another entity. Respondent does not collect collect probation fees, restitution payments, or make recommendations to the court. The probation entity refers individuals to respondent for counseling services. Respondent is licensed with the state to provide non-residential substance abuse treatment and to operate a DUI school. There are no prior complaints. My recommendation is to close the case. All right. Uh, any discussion or questions? It sounds like it's a solicitation for business outside the purview of our council. I'm going to go live. W- would you agree with that, uh, Ms. Richardson? Sorry, what was the statement? Can you repeat that? Uh, it, it appears to me to be a solicitation for business uh, outside the uh, jurisdiction of the council. Yes, based on the complaint, the response, and an investigation I sent out that probation entities contract with them, and so they, because of that, they don't contract with the court, so they're therefore not subject to our rules. All right, is there any other discussion? Do I hear a motion to approve the disposition? Uh, Judge Hudson, I make a motion to approve the disposition. Is there a second? Sounds so forward, I second. All right. I'll call uh, any, any other discussion? Call the roll. Judge Kraft? Aye. Judge Hudson? Aye. Judge Harvey? Aye. Mr. Ford? Aye. Motion carries, sir. All right, next. All right, the second case is complaint number 20140170001. Complaint alleges that respondent is conducting unlicensed activity. Complaint gives a copy of respondent's intake form, which has order of probation at the top and provides for a judge to order the defendant to attend respondent's classes, signed by the judge. Respondent states that they do not supervise probationers, contact with the court, or operate as an official office of the court system, and they never intend to present themselves as such. They have changed the form in question for clarity. Respondent is willing to make additional changes if the council wishes to make it even clear that respondent does not supervise probationers. Respondent offer, offers batter intervention classes. Judges can sentence defendants to take classes, and the rules and standards of probation applies. In the history, there is one prior complaint dismissed for unlicensed activity. It's an unlicensed entity. It was a very similar complaint. My recommendation is to close with a letter of information informing respondent that according to the laws and regulations, if a court assigns probationers directly to the respondent, then the respondent needs to be registered as a private probation company. Um, so what exactly is it that they are doing? They offer batter intervention classes, but I was looking at the laws and regulations, and our statute is to supervise um, entities that provide probation, supervision, counseling, and co- collection services to the courts. And their intake form is actually signed by the judge directing them to that specific counseling service. And that's where I think the distinction is in the laws from this case as opposed to the other one. Because the other one, probationers are referred, they can come in themselves. But in this case, the judge is actually ordering them to that specific respondent. So that's why I think an order of information clarifying that is an order here. All right. I suspect that's a common problem across the state. I don't believe this is the only situation. 
But I like, uh, I, I'm in agreement as to your recommendation. Judge has Any other questions of Ms. Richardson about that? Right. Do I hear a motion to adopt that recommendation? My motion is to adopt the recommendation as proposed, uh, Mr. Chair. All right, Mr. Ford. Is there a second? Second, but Judge Hudson. Any other discussion? <clears throat> Call the roll, please. Judge Kraft? Aye. Judge Hudson? Aye. Judge Harvey? Aye. Stancil Ford? Aye. Motion carries, sir. Thank you. All right, the last case on the report today is complaint number 2014013981. Complaint alleges that the owner of respondent gave campaign contributions to the judge of the court the private entity provides services for. An officer also contributed. Additionally, the owner contributed signs to a candidate for the clerk of court's office. The candidate is a government employee. Would you care to read that again, please? Yes. <laughs> Complaint alleges that the owner of respondent gave campaign contributions to the judge of the court the private entity provides services for. An officer also contributed. Additionally, the owner contributed signs to a candidate for the clerk of court's office. The candidate is a government, government employee. And the violation would be our conflict of interest rule that states that no private entity that provides probation services may give or offer to give anything of value to a governmental employee. Respondent states that the individuals who made the contributions are not owners of respondent company. In fact, shortly after these contributions, both individuals left respondent and started a separate company. These contributions did not benefit respondent in any way. In fact, since these individuals started a competitor company, if these contributions had any effect, it would have been to injure respondent for the other company's benefit. Additional information, the complainant contacted the staff and informed them that she meant to file the complaint against the other new company the individual started. That case has been opened but is still being investigated. So based on this information, my recommendation is to close this complaint and that other complaint is still in investigations and it will be before you hopefully by the December meeting. So, so putting this in, in my terms, some people with the company gave contributions to the judge for the election and then they left that company and they've started their own company. Yes, that is the allegation. All right. Well, let me ask you this, Judge Hudson. Um, is it going to be the same facts for the new uh, investigation or is this going to have something separate and apart because if it's the same i understand closing it if i'm overlapping here but some facts differ a little bit i'd leave it open um well the allegations would be the same she just the complainant meant to open it against you know the new company but she didn't, so we have to go through this process. So the allegation would be similar, but it's against a different entity. Okay, I understand. So this company doesn't have those people in it, and so there should not be a penny complaint on the company, on this company. That is my rec recommendation, yes. All right, all right. Uh, any other questions? Do I hear a motion to approve the recommendation? I so move, Judge Hudson. Is there a second? Second, Harvey. All right, Judge Harvey seconds. Any other discussion? Uh, uh, call the roll on the vote, please. Judge Kraft? Aye. Judge Hudson? Aye. Judge Harvey? Aye. Mr. Ford? Aye. Motion carries, sir. Any other report? That is it for the legal report. All right, administrative report, Ms. Whaley. Yes, uh, I only have, there's two items on the administrative report. Um, in your email yesterday, I sent you the meeting schedule for 2015. Yes. And I would just like for you all to review it and um, I need a motion to approve. Do I hear a motion to approve the meeting schedule for 2015? That's our, oh, our, our usual for third, first Fridays. Of yes, sir, yes, it follows yes. the normal schedule. And I will, um, once it's approved, I will post it to the website. Any motion? So move, Hudson. Is there a second? Harvey, second. Any other discussion? Call the roll on the vote. Judge Kraft? Aye. Judge Hudson? Aye. Judge Harvey? Aye. Mr. Ford? Aye. All right. Okay. We did have on the uh, agenda for today officer elections, and I don't know uh, what the council's feeling is 
on that, and I will defer. Well, we need to, for next year, we need to elect a chair and a vice chair. Yes, sir. Say the ones that didn't show up on the call get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, um, I think I think we need to have someone on on board before December, uh, in case we don't have anything on the agenda. We need a chairperson who can, you know, call off the meeting. Uh, I know we probably will, but uh, I don't mind uh, since we have a quorum, we can elect our officers. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't really mind uh, being the chair again unless one of you gentlemen wants to be the chair. Uh, but some would have to make that motion. I, I, I make that motion that uh, we, uh, Ms. Craft, be, uh, admit his name, Judge Craft, as chairman for the next year. I second that motion. I'm sorry, I, was that Judge Hudson with yes, the motion? It was. It okay. was. And, and uh, Mr. Ford. Yes. Uh, any other discussion or nominations? Call the roll on who's in favor. Judge Kraft? I'm abstaining. Okay. Uh, Judge Harvey? Aye. Judge Hudson? Aye. Mr. Ford? Aye. Okay. All right. Motion uh, carries. Congratulations, Mr. Kraft. You are once again the chairman. Thank you. I think we should double my pay. <laughs> um, do we uh, do we have? And I think uh, Judge Lauterbach is the vice chair at this time. Do we have any uh, any nominations for vice chair? I'd like to nominate Judge Lauterbach for vice chair. Is there is there a second on that? Or I would second that. Mr. Right. Um, any other nominations? I, 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 Judge Hudson. I mean, I guess you can decline that. I, I get. I think this is okay. But if Judge Lauterbach does not want to serve. Then, if he does not want to serve, then we'll, we'll have to elect someone else in December. Okay, I just wanted to make just make it clear. That's right. Okay. We there's there's no, there's a slavery amendment to the Constitution, so we can't we can't make him do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, any other nominations? Uh, um, I, could I get who made the motion in the second? Judge Ms. Hudson made the motion, and Mr. Ford made the second. Okay. Boom. Call the roll. Judge Kraft. Uh, aye. Judge Hudson? Aye. Judge Harvey? Aye. Mr. Ford? Aye. Motion carries. Judge Lauterbach is uh, currently elected vice chairman. All right. Do we have any other business? I have no other business, sir. All right. Uh, in that case, do I hear a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn, Mr. Chair. All right. I think we can adjourn by hanging up, but I want to thank you all for calling from wherever you were. <laughs> Thank you all very much for calling so we can have this meeting today. I appreciate it. And thank you, Ms. Weber. You're very welcome. Thank you, thank thank you, you. everyone. All right. Bye. Bye. bye.